I'm going to show you how to set up uh, Microsoft Word 2007 spelling and grammar check um, and the custom dictionary which can be used to uh, help you uh, improve your writing as you go along. You'll see in this document uh, some red underlined words, Twilocity, my last name, uh, and some intentionally misspelled words here. With uh, th these are these are underlined in red, meaning that it's a spelling error. Um, here, there's a little underlining between these sentences uh, in green. Green underlining is uh, a grammar style error and red is a spelling error. So you can see Twilocity every time it shows up uh, it's a red spelling error. Uh, here's a, a green underline for is submitted. That's a grammar style error. And this whole paragraph is uh, underlined in green with the exception of Twilocity which is underlined in red. I want to show you how to uh, use the grammar and style check but first we have to set it up. So, so you would go to um, that uh, icon there, Word Options, uh, Proofing, and you can see here under Proofing there's uh, some boxes that need to be checked and some that are left unchecked. Um, you probably should pause your video and go ahead and set yours up just exactly like I have it here including the drop-down style grammar and style. Um, you'll notice also that there is a custom dictionary here. Uh, with a custom dictionary what that is is for words that um, are specific to you. Uh, this custom dictionary you can add words or you can uh, remove words that are in there words that um, you uh, normally use. Uh, often, well of course in my case, my uh, last name is always showing up as a spelling error until I uh, add that here. You can go in here and you can simply type in a word um, such as your last name or the first time that you come across it in a document uh, you can add it that way and that's how I'm going to show you uh, how to add words that that should be in uh, in the custom dictionary so that they won't show as a spelling error. But you can always go here and remove words that you've put in there if something changes. Okay, so we go down here to writing style. There are two writing styles. There's grammar only and grammar and style. I, I would select grammar and style because it gives you the most options and, and uh, we'll check your paper. Um, for the problems. You, so you select grammar and style, you go to settings and essentially on these boxes you just want to make sure that everything is checked. You want maximum checking. Uh, you don't have to always accept uh, what Microsoft says but at least uh, it will underline those in green and for these three boxes you have some choices, drop downs, but set them up this way because this what I have here is set up for APA 6th edition which is the current style manual for many colleges so you want to set them up this way and, and then you would just say okay 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 now um, you've, you've typed up your document and you want to check it Actually, many of these uh, underlined words uh, would uh, come out, either the red underline or the green underline, would come out as you're typing. So when you see one of these underlined words, you just right mouse click on it and it will give you um, some options. Uh, in this case here, Twilocity, you can see I've already added, added to the custom dictionary the possessive of Twilocity but I removed uh, Twilocity so that it would show up as a spelling error. But I, I want to add that to my custom in dictionary, so I just go to Add to Dictionary. Now you'll note Twilocity, 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 Twilocity. When you add it to the dictionary, all of those spelling errors go away. 
the same thing with my last name. I want to add that to the dictionary so that every time I type my name it doesn't come out as a spelling error. Uh, these intentionally misspelled uh, words. It will give you some options here. Offered, um, opportunity, um, okay so for the grammar errors, the green underline we know this is only one space between uh, the sentence. If you can't see the one space, the dot, about halfway between the letter I here, then you need to turn on uh, this. You can see um, that it will show all the hidden characters, like the paragraph root, uh, mark, the spaces between words, between sentences. So you want to turn that on. And with this, I can click on here. It just shows a period. You don't see the two spaces here. But if I'm not sure what the problem is, I can go to about this sentence. And about this sentence will tell me you have the option of one or two spaces between sentences, but be consistent. So if I right mouse click on that and select this, it'll put it in two spaces. You can see the two spaces there. All right, so what about uh, this here is passive. Um, it says passive voice, what is that? Okay, so you click on about this sentence. And you can read about uh, passive and you, you'll probably have to rewrite that sentence. For this uh, paragraph that's all underlined in green, what would you do? It says it's a long sentence. Um, anytime you have a long sentence, uh, it's hard to follow the twists and turns that are, are uh, in the logic of the sentence. So it's better to, to make sentences uh, short and to the point. Essentially, that's uh, setting up and using uh, Microsoft Word 2007 spelling grammar check and the custom dictionary. Thanks for watching.